Well, all right. Thank you all for joining this evening. It is 5.30 p.m. and I'd like to call the November 29th meeting of the town council to order. This is a special meeting to accomplish business that we feel is time sensitive and we will rejoin our regular meeting in December. If we could please take a moment of silence to acknowledge all those that are currently serving and have served in the past. Um, our frontline workers that provide essential services. Uh, we thank you for that. Thank you all. In accordance with Mass General Law, tonight's meeting is being audio and video recorded. I would ask if anyone in the audience is recording, if you could please identify yourself. Uh, there is nobody in the audience, so. <laughs> Thank you, Don. Yep. Tonight's meeting is being held virtually through a Zoom webinar pursuit to Governor Baker's March 12, 2020 order suspending certain provisions of the open meeting law. Just get me on the screen. So as you all know, there is um, one agenda item this evening. And as I stated earlier, it is time sensitive. Um, um, so under, uh, I guess it's classified as new business, the screen's jumping around here. Um, it is under new business and it's this discussion to hire an outside organization for the purpose of our permanent town manager search. <clears throat> At uh, previous council meetings, discussions and su uh, suggested course of action requires us to meet this evening and vote for or against the use of an outside employment agency. Um, I was, uh, after spending a fair amount of time, I'm pleased to be able to submit a contract for our council's review. Uh, that contract shows, uh, depicts in the amount of $8,700 plus advertising, it's from Community Paradigm LLC located in Plymouth, Mass. And their job is to compile a list of uh, interested and qualified applicants. Uh, I believe that this process will best serve the town, our council and our department heads. Myself and other council members here this evening or those that viewed in are familiar with this organization. And um, this agency certainly in the past um, delivered a, a very good product, and I believe we are very satisfied. I, I think at this point in time, I'd like a motion um, to reflect, um, approve, approve the funding of $8,700 plus advertising to assist with the town council with qualified applicants for the town manager position. Uh, once we have that motion on the floor in a second, uh, I'd be happy to open the floor up for discussion, followed by a vote. Does anyone want to take a stab at it or at that motion or if it's acceptable, I'll, I'll read it myself. Yeah, I don't remember the exact verbiage you just had, Mike, but I... So moved. <laughs> there we go. Second. Okay. My volume's a little low, but if everyone's happy, we have a motion, we have a second, it's been moved. Um, discussion or, or questions? Kathy? Um, I heard you say, thank you, Mike. I heard you say a community paradigm for 8,700. When we were uh, conducting the search, which resulted in our hiring of Mary, my recollection when I uh, brokered the contract with him was that it was closer to $10,000. So I guess I'm pleasantly surprised that there is a reduction in the potential cost. Um, to comment on that, I, I really don't want to take credit for that, but um, I had many conversations with Bernie. Uh, Bernie just finished a search with South Hadley. He's worked with our town in the past, and uh, he, he took that under consideration, and we both agreed on this number based on um, how this council votes this evening. So that's how it came about, but like I said, um, I was part of that search as well, and um, you know, numerous uh, attendees this evening are familiar with their work. And I was very pleased with the number 
and we've already experienced the product that they'll put forward. And I, I believe it's, it's the way to go at this point in time. So Marilyn, I saw your hand up. Actually, Kathy had my question, but um, my other question is when he did a recent, it was just a recent search in South Hadley, was it a town manager position or a town um, administrator position? Do you know? Um, I, I am not 100% sure. I, I thought that it was for a manager position. Mary might know. Manager. Yeah, it's actually an administrator in South Hadley. Mm. She just, uh, Lisa Wong was hired and she started on November 1st. Okay. So it, it is a little confusing, like Long Meadow, they still have a board of selectmen as we know, but they do have a town manager. Um, most towns that run with a select board seem to use an administrator, but um, as Mary stated in South Hadley, um, it, is, it is an administrator, correct? Yeah, yes. Yeah. So. Do we know what kind of a, a turnout they had for this position? Any thoughts on that? I, I, I didn't ask, but um, I kind of felt like tonight, if we can get, if, if um, the pleasure of this council is to approve the funding, then we will act on this contract as early as tomorrow. And um, I, I know I'll be having uh, numerous conversations with Bernie. I can learn a lot more on, on the timing and what took place in South Hadley. And I'd be happy to share that information at a council meeting at a later date and time. <clears throat> I'd also like to add that um, because we've used community paradigm before, I you know I think there's a, an element of, of a comfort level in knowing how things play out. And the fact that he has represented our town before, maybe that's why the $8,700 because some of the work doesn't have to be repeated. So you know I have no I have no qualms with going forward with with this recommendation based on what I know right now. I'd just like to add um, Bernie's experience. Um, he was a past town manager, which I think gives him quite a bit of experience working in this field. They specialize in this field where other competing organizations uh, might attack, um, let's just say a half a dozen of, of uh, different areas. So they really do zone in on um, working to try to find the right manager uh, for the right community. Connor? Thanks, Mike. I was just gonna add that I was on the opposite side of the fence last time when we went with Community Paradigm and I was on the screening committee um, and I thought it worked out well as a process and I was happy with how things ended up. And so I'm totally comfortable with moving forward with this. And I think it adds that level of transparency to the public as well so that it's not just the council making uh, decisions along the way. Yeah. Well, thank you for that. Um, Don. Yeah, I mean, I, I don't have a problem with that price point. I mean, it, it, what it does is it allows uh, mm -hmm. candidates to be going through a you know, screening process and so forth. But I'll do respect uh, this, you know, Mike, Kathy and I, this is our third um, town manager search since uh, the since a new form of government. And I believe uh, Denise and Mary I, and correct me, Mary's here to correct me if I'm wrong, actually came as a function of not necessarily of community paradigm bringing to their attention, but being, being aware of it otherwise. Denise was trying out for the town administrator job during the board of selectmen period. And Mary was the town administrator for the town of Hamden. So, um, and the last go around, they were almost apologetic of the lack of responses of, of candidates they were independently able to bring. But for the amount of money, and even if the, the future candidate comes into, uh, through another source, but is vetted through them, I think the value that for the amount of money we're spending uh, is worth it. But I'm not holding up a lot of hope that, that they're gonna bring somebody from Cape Cod or wherever they were bringing in the past um, you know, I think they're going to, I think, uh, it's a lot of, it's going to be up to us to get the word of mouth out and bring in quality candidates. Like we've had the last two times. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I would agree. Ralph. So Mike, what I will say is I did like the vetting process that they went through last time. Um, you know, as far as being able to uh, dig into the background, look at everyone, 
and then uh, you know them saying that we need to uh, have a separate committee to actually look at it um, to narrow it down. I like the process that they did. Um, like I said, I, I dealt with the Collins Center uh, the first time around when we did the charter. Um, they did a great job uh, as far as with the charter and all, but I think uh, community uh, paradigm is the way to go uh, in this situation. Great. I would echo that. Thanks. Um, that's what we worked on over the last couple of weeks. And um, I'm, I'm really happy that we're able to meet here and have this meeting tonight because it definitely gives us a jump start rather than, um, let me just look at the date here and make sure I get it right, than waiting to our next council meeting, which is, isn't scheduled to the 14th of um, December. So um, this is a great head start if we vote in the affirmative. And uh, I'm, I'm pleased with the conversations I've had with them up to date and and the contract. So, Marilyn? I know we're discussing the dollar, the dollar value of what we're trying to prove here. Um, my question is sort of connected to it. Are we gonna go forward with a citizen subcommittee to help with this process like we did the last time? Um, I, I, I believe we will, but I think seeing that we're engaging, um, I don't know what's changed and what Bernie's learned um, okay. over, you know, it's been a couple of years since we worked with him, but I, I would rely on his direction, but that would seem uh, very logical. And I think we'll be able to answer a lot of those questions. Once, once our, that contract is signed, I'll, I'll have an in-depth conversation with him and be happy to um, share the path forward at the uh, 14th meeting. So... Okay, that's fine. I just, it's, it just hadn't come up. I was curious. Yeah, yeah. Kathy, do you have anything else to add? Um, <clears throat> no, I think Marilyn um, uh, raised a good point, but it makes sense that uh, the, the process uh, that Paradigm uses, mm -hmm. and they do it year round, may have changed in the three years since we were uh, working with them. Um, regardless who we would engage, uh, but, but I'm a big fan of Paradigm. Um, I, I appreciate the fact that uh, there's sentiment to use a professional agency because as much as Don is correct that we need to talk it up in our circles or people we know who have circles greater than we might, um, that's their business to be engaged with professional networks uh, throughout the country and trade journals and um, professional, um, I guess I would say journals or associations, and they will do a good job getting the word out. It'll, that'll get uh, advertised in the greater Boston area. I believe my recollection is that it was also advertised in the greater Hartford area. And those uh, are the two metropolitan areas that beyond Springfield and Worcester that are gonna pull. He might even decide to go into the Pittsfield, Albany area. Um, I'd leave that to him, but I'm, I guess my point is that um, they do a good job with using their network to um, recruit people. Ralph. Mike, uh, more of a technical question, and this is gonna to go to Steve. Um, so if we uh, vote in the affirmative to spend the money, um, should we also make the motion that the money is to be um, spent out of the free cash? Because I'm sure the, the town council budget probably doesn't have it. And I'm sure we probably don't want to take it out of the town clerk. Uh, so I wasn't sure if we want to try and combine everything uh, right now, right off at the top, uh, because I know free cash has been certified. Yep, we are. They have been uh, free cash was certified, so you could do it tonight. We have to do it before I sign for appropriations, um, so it could be the next meeting too. But uh, either way, will work. Uh, so for ease and lining up the dates, tonight would work better, maybe. But uh, we could certainly do it at the December fourteenth meeting too. Don, uh, follow up to Ralph's point is: should we also put? at least part of our vote, a dollar amount for advertising, say not to exceed $2,000 without further action by the council. Otherwise, we're just approving what seems to be like a blank check on that amount, or is that in order due to the type of vote? OK, 
Okay. Um, my suggestion would be if we're going to allocate dollar amounts this evening, um, especially tied to the advertising portion, I would prefer to have a conversation with Bernie so that so that we're not using arbitrary numbers. Uh, he okay. would be able to fine tune that much better. So on the advertising end, I'd wait to the 14th. Um, Ralph, if anyone else is more comfortable and they want to allocate the 8,700 to come from free cash, then that's fine. I can add to that, Mike, if you wouldn't mind. Please. My, again, remember that it's a few years back, but the, um, the, the cost of the contract was one invoice and the advertising will be handled by Bernie, but billed directly to the town. And my recollection is that the last time we used them, it was $700. Now with inflation, figure on maybe a thousand, I don't know. Yeah. It'll, it'll be billed separately. Mm -hmm. Connor, I'm sorry. Yeah. Thanks, Mike. Um, as a follow up to that, so if we received like one total invoice from Community Paradigm, was that just tendered at the end of the, the engagement, at which point we may not necessarily have to worry about exact dollar figures to move from free cash at this point, or is that an immediate concern? Um, I, part of uh, Connor's conversation was was cut out. Um, Don, can you, I, I saw your hand up. Uh, can you answer Connor's question? Me? Yes. Um, I only I caught part asked. of what Connor said. If you want, C Connor, I was just trying to lean in as well. What, were you, what did you ask? Oh, sorry. I was just trying to ask um, if we only received one invoice from him last time. Does that get tendered at the end of the engagement with him? At which point is the appropriation necessary now? I, I mean, my thinking is what you just said is if there is one invoice or if there's two invoices, um, one for advertising and so forth, if we're doing an appropriation, I'm not sure if they want a level of comfort to say, because right now we're not approving advertising per se, we're, we're just approving what their fee is. And we know historically the last one was $700. So even if we put not to exceed $3,000, we already can uh, bookmark the money and they can feel com comfortable taking on those ads because we have not approved those ads. So I'm thinking of since we're already acting as time is of the essence, trying to get this special meeting together, get this contract signed. If I were that institute, I would be like, okay, you approved my salary, but am I taking some degree of risk by going out and, and aggressively advertising right from the get-go? I think giving them that comfort level, not a license to spend that kind of, that amount, to be, still have their fiduciary duty to their client, us, but to at least have a comfort level to say, yes, you, you are approved a certain advertising budget. We hope you keep it consistent to the last time, but, you, but the council has already approved a budget up to a certain amount of advertising. Okay. Um, Kathy, did you have any comments from our I, last? I did. Um, as to the 8,700, that'll be the sum total of his service. But I, I want to say a, a, up to a third was due within the first couple of weeks. And then the balance when everything was over and the individual was hired. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Steve? A uh, suggestion I might make then is to, uh, for the 8700 and then whatever the advertising do that at a later date, because you might not, we may be able to use departmental transfers kind of thing down the road um, if there's excess. Jeannie has a lot of money, she told me, so uh, they, uh, <laughs> we, can, uh, we can do a vote at a later date. The 87 to Councillor Anderson's point, the 8700 if we do have to pay something up within a couple weeks, you're going to have to have some money in there anyways, um, so it might make sense that way. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense to me. And um, like I said, I'll be having a conversation with him as early as tomorrow, I would hope, if he's available. Ralph? So Mike, um, my thought would be to do this in two parts. Um, the first with the motion on the floor to approve the hiring of mm -hmm. uh, Community mm -hmm. Paradigm uh, for the contract amount, mm -hmm. and then do another motion um, to expend from free cash for those services up to a total of, I was going to say 12,500, which would give us, you know, roughly 3,000 for advertising and then they're 8,750. Um, does that make sense? 
I, I can see Steve. I'm not sure if that that makes sense or not. Yeah, I mean, to not succeed's nice. It's a good thing to have. Um, but I guess part of my concern would be more along the lines of historically it was around 700, we're only getting 3,000, you know, up to 3,000. Um, you can always go back if it if it comes that they need more than 2,000 or X dollars, can go back and replenish it from free cash at that point too. So rather than have, to use your phrase, a, almost a blank check to up to 3,000. I might limit it a little bit, that, but I'm, I tend to be that way anyway. So it's, it's kind of what, you, what the council's comfortable with. And what I don't remember last time, but I, I can imagine that um, I would probably be able to ask him to submit invoices for the advertising. You know, I'll have uh, we'll much that. more knowledge on where the advertising took place, how far out we want to go and how long we want to continue it. But um, I, I'm, I'm sure it won't be a problem. It's um, just phrasing the motion properly to either strike, I believe, the motion I made said $8,700 plus advertising. So we could strike the advertising portion and deal with that at a later point in time, as suggested, if that's our pleasure. Kath? And if I can add to that, um, <clears throat> there uh, during the, the point where the screening committee will be meeting all day, to do their, uh, they move from a short list to a shorter list. Um, we need to provide the hospitality for that day. And I took care of that last time. And I would say you should be allocating probably $250 if the screening committee is as large to provide them with a light lunch and coffee and water and whatnot throughout the day. That's typical. I mean, it's we can't expect a screening committee to be there for 10 hours and and have them dehydrate in front of us. <laughs> no, much so, like our election workers, right? <clears throat> yes. yes, so there'll be some small uh, expenses mm -hmm. for that too, but they won't be exorbitant. Okay. Connor. Uh, thanks, Mike. So would it make sense then if we know the 8,700, if we just act on that portion now mm -hmm. and then leave the other ones to when our next meeting when we I, I'm, I'm fine with it because what what it does is it engages services and he'll be able to start and then well it'll give us a little bit of time to think about it I'll have conversations with him and we can address the uh, uh, the advertising and uh, uh, whatever necessary uh, accommodations we want to make for those that work at at uh, our December 14th meeting does that work for everyone that works for me. Ralph? So Mike, do you need uh, the motion amended uh, simply to say that the 8,700 fee will be um, out of free cash or do you want to do it in two parts? One that we're doing, hiring him for that. And then the second is that at least the 8,700 will be paid out of free cash. That way there, we already know where it's coming from. So it's, Steve, is it fair to say the 8,700 is coming from free cash? Oh, yes. Yeah. Okay. So um, I would I would just amend the motion. Uh, my motion uh, stated $8,700 plus advertising. So uh, Jeannie, are, you're, Jeannie's keeping the minutes tonight. Is that correct? Jeannie, you're muted. Yes, I am. So if you have the motion and you just strike... Um, plus advertising, that's the way I worded it. We'll make sure it's right, right? We can amend that motion. Okay, could you read that back though, Mike, from the beginning? I, I certainly can. And, and anyone feel free to um, adjust this. So the motion to approve, uh, approve funding amounting to $8,700 to assist the town council with qualified applicants for the town manager position. I believe that's what I stated the first time. <clears throat> so, Mike, my only suggestion would be to approve funding from free from, cash. Right. We'll add the free cash part. Right. Kath? I, I would be more comfortable with what, what Ralph just said, but also identifying the, the vendor we're going to use in the interest of transparency as well. Mm -hmm. Okay. So we can keep building on this. Um, Let's see. 
So the 8,700 genies would be coming from free cash. Right. And the $8,700 is for Community Paradigm LLC. <clears throat> to conduct an a executive search for the purpose of hiring a new town manager. Mm -hmm. Steve? Uh, I, earlier to Councilor's page, um, I think it was Councilor's page point of, well, or your, your point, Councilor, from free cash. It definitely can come from free cash. We had a good year, but it could also, transfers may cover it and we may have to go, but down the road, then we may find where we, we could take out free cash at that point to cover the transfer too. I, I'm sorry when I said I, it sounded like it could only be from free cash. No, you can transfer things in there. It's just down the road, you may need to cover it. You know, but we had almost two and a half million dollars worth of turnbacks last year. So it would have easily covered it. So why don't okay. we just look to do it from free cash right from the start so we don't have to think about it later on? Yeah, that, that's one option. And the uh, either option works, I guess is what I'm trying to say. Um, so Jeannie, do you, could you read that motion back to us just to make sure that uh, everyone's okay. comfortable with it? To approve funding in the amount of $8,700 from free cash to for Community Paradigm Associates LLC to conduct a search for hiring of a permanent town manager. That's good. Um, it's, it's covering all the bases from, from what I'm hearing. Is, is everyone else comfortable? Ralph? So Mike, that is my motion as amended and hopefully Connor will second it. <laughs> I will second the amendments. <laughs> okay, um, the, the motion's been amended. Uh, any further discussion? Uh, hearing and seeing none, this is a roll call vote and I'll start at the top with Don Anderson. Yes. Uh, I'm a yes. Uh, Connor? Yes. Ralph? Yes. Marilyn? Yes. Kathy? Yes. Okay, so we have some direction and hopefully I'll have uh, have some feedback for you on, on uh, the 14th or further direction. That being said, we can entertain a motion to adjourn. I move to adjourn. I'll second that. Okay, a motion and a second. Again, Don? Yes. I'm a yes. Connor? Yes. Ralph? Okay, yes. <laughs> Marilyn? Yes. <laughs> and Kathy, it's great to see you back. Yes. Thanks. First of all, yes. Uh, and thank you all of to my council colleagues and my town hall uh, colleagues uh, for your kind words uh, during my recent bereavement and for stepping up to the plate and pick, taking the uh, responsibilities normally that I might be working on off of my shoulders for the last six to eight weeks. It's been deeply appreciated by me and my family. Thank you, well-deserved. Um, I'd just like to say thank you to Jeannie and Mary for joining us this evening and uh, helping us out. And I guess we can consider ourselves adjourned here at uh, 6.01. We'll see you shortly. <clears throat> Thanks. Good night.